Here we're exploring texture using black and white charcoal pencils on black paper. And this is the end result for our progress check for creating fur, gravel, and wood grain textures. Here's my pencils. Here's some printouts that I'll refer to when I'm creating my textures. The first thing, however, make sure you have watched the tutorial on how to create six sections. Whether you have it using squares or rectangles like this, I've demonstrated in the video on how to create on selecting items to trace to get six shapes that are equal. So starting off with number one, um, number one is fur. Looking for my other pencil. Here we go. All right. Number one is fur. And I didn't use a reference picture for this one. I just thought about what a fur texture might look like. And this was my result. So I have short lines, curved lines, long lines. This document you'll locate in Teams. It's seven pages of different textures, including a couple different fur textures. You're welcome to use any of these as an inspiration or of course, select your own. I actually kind of like this one. So I might bring some inspiration from this into what I'm doing. The thing is, there's many correct answers and approaches for this technique. So I would expect, looking at student work, that I would see a lot of different, different results. Yes, please go outside of the box as if it's growing outside. Um, so within this box, I'm going to... I'm going to show off some short lines. Maybe I'll try some, ooh, that's bright. Maybe I'll try some little bit side of my pencil, create some softer, perhaps some curved lines. I kind of like that. Definitely leaving some blank space, some black negative space because you want, um, You want to have balance of black and white. You might even choose to blend. Here's my single square, which I'm going to fold into a point. Not like that. I could go from the roots up. Maybe just a little, maybe a little more. I kind of like that nice and soft. Um, and remember, I didn't mention it yet, remember you can practice on the back of this. So you, um, we're only using this black paper for one thing. So if you have your squares or rectangles on the front, you're able to practice on the back. So here is my practice. Um, I did a lot of different styles of fur and we'll get to the gravel slash concrete and the wood grain also. So definitely practice. I always warmed up a little bit and practiced to create what I wanted it to look like before I jumped into the square. So I recommend that. Flip it over, do a little practice, try some different techniques, try the side of the pencil, try the point of the pencil. Get some nice, really straight, sharp ones in there. Okay, and you're gonna fill up that square. I didn't use any black pencil in this one. You could. You could see what happens when you put some white on top of black. Actually, I kind of like that. So again, we're experimenting. We're trying different things, seeing how it looks. I don't know. It's up to you. Give it a try. Number two is going to be gravel. And really just interpret that your own way. That could mean it's kind of like sandpaper, kind of gritty, more rocky, um, perhaps um, just rough so that it's not a smooth surface. Um, some pictures that I have in the file include like this. It just looks rough, cracked, broken, sharp. It's not soft and blended. 
So some more kind of rocky imagery. So when I'm working with the gravel, I'm going to work with the white pencil. Let's see, here is what my gravel looks like. Um, kind of speckly, spotted. You see heavier areas of white and some empty areas of negative space of black paper showing through. Um, so again, practice first. And then once you feel ready, you can refer to a picture if you choose. Um, and I am just kind of using the side of the pencil. I'm going to tap. I'm going to kind of scribble. Go outside that box. Break through the... Think outside the box. Break through. Heavier areas of white. Maybe I'll change my grip on my pencil. I'm getting... It's getting shrunken down. I've sharpened it so many times. Uh, yeah. And just have fun with it. Kind of scribbly. Maybe you have some more, like, sharp edges like this. You could do different techniques within this box, just like I did different techniques of the fur here. So you could get more like sharp angles happening. There's different ways to do it. So you're bringing your own expression, your own style. Some areas a little bit brighter. And come up with your interpretation of gravel, a rough surface. The next one for wood grain, I definitely urge you to choose a picture to refer to. Um, this one needs a little more um, detail and kind of specifics. So I gathered four pictures that I thought were best. Some are easier, some are a little more difficult. I think I've tried almost all of them myself. So this file, again, is on Teams and in the assignment. Um, and so you'll find I chose these four. This one might be the easiest because it doesn't have the circular knot, but that's my opinion. So here is the ones I can choose from, or I could find another one that I prefer on uh, Google, it's up to you. So here's my one of my interpretations of the wood grain. So I chose the one that has the knot. I did use black and white pencils in this one. Um, and it's mostly going in a horizontal direction. So I'm going to choose um, this one. I'm going to choose this one. So this one I am going to have right near me um, and actually kind of copying, being inspired by it. Not every single line and crack is going to be included in my drawing, but just getting inspired by the, the general shapes of it. So number three is, oops, I can spell. Make that an O. <laughs> Wood grain. Okay. Um, side of the pencil is good. I'm going to throw this knot in here first. I'm going to put it kind of off to the side just a little. And then there's a lot of lines that kind of come up and around it. There's just this kind of flow goes around it. There's a big black line. And again, I'm being inspired by it. I'm not trying to like get every little tiny perfect um, area. I'm trying to draw a representation of this wood texture. You're better off picking a, a picture that has... Um, cracks and um, openings and different um, details to give it more of a weathered look. I found that using my little blending square 
was a good idea for this one. I decided to first put in some white. And that's going to create some gray tones that I need because the white of the pencil and the black of the paper kind of combine. Now if I come in and put some more sharp black areas, that's going to help me create the look I'm, look, uh, the look I'm going for. Let's see, there's a big one here. So I'm going for a basic kind of wood texture. Again, I'm not trying to copy it exactly. I'm just interpreting what I see into my my rendering, my line work. I could always go back in with a little bright, give it a pop of bright white where I think it might need it. There we go. There, and maybe over here. And this isn't complete. I didn't complete the other two. But just to give you an idea of how to start, how to get going, what to look for. It's real busy over here with like little marks and cuts and textures. So I'll stop there. I think you get the idea of what to look for. All right, so turning in a progress check of these first three is what's due first. And have fun with it.